in the hole. Good gracious. Does not want me to drill alfalfa today. I guess I'm turning the wheel. You get to turn the wheel. Here we go. Five. Twenty-nine. Woo. Oh, thanks, Cole. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for... Storeless station seed delivery, boy. Thank you for the hand up. Helping. Just sitting there watching Dad throw that up there. Because, you know... I can do it. I'm in. Uh, mm -hmm. And I checked the oil for you. So Thanks. there you go. All right. See ya. I'll go drill your seed. <laughs> well, now that you put it that way. Uh -huh. <laughs> we got a really good chance for rain later today, which we're pretty excited about. We're getting some stuff drilled. Hopefully getting nice rain on it so it germinates. Today is also the last day of soybean harvest. And because of the dew, we can't, we can't harvest soybeans in the morning very often. So Dad's going to take that semi in, which is full from beans last night. We only got 40 acres left. So we're going to drill some alfalfa, which I've never done before. I've drilled some cover crops and some grass seed. So hopefully we can figure this out. That is some beautiful stuff. Feels bad driving on it. So that big miscolored circle there, there's about five or six different spots like that. If you remember 2019 was super wet, a lot of rains and a lot of them were really big, like six inches. I know up in uh, Madison, South Dakota, they got an eight or nine incher around harvest time. And so that water sat and it sat, killed the alfalfa to the point where all it is is grass weeds in here and so that's really hurting our alfalfa yield and this stuff doesn't ton out well and it's not good quality we're going to try to improve those and get some alfalfa back growing there's a super interesting thing about alfalfa when it's growing like that you can't intercede alfalfa into it there's something called alleopathy which is basically a chemical inhibition that the plant produces new seeds cannot germinate right next to existing alfalfa plants there's zero alfalfa in here so there's not going to be that chemical that they produce out of the roots isn't that crazy if only it could do that for weeds if you could figure out how to put that in a corn plant so that dang kosher and water hemp didn't come up that's a billion dollar idea right there Hmm. We're a little deep. A lot deep. Yeah. We're a lot deep in some spots and not very deep in others. The soil's dry. The other thing about alfalfa is after you seed it, it loves to be packed real tight. So we got our packer wheel. We got them set on 300 pounds from yesterday, so hopefully that will... That's not very tight. These drills, they're just so... They're not very uniform. That's what sucks about them. That first one, I was like, that's way too deep. And then I get to the next one and it's not deep enough. You know what that tells me? We're perfect. I was expecting to see more of a divot. I think there's one a little bit right there. The stuff is really small. 
A lot of individual seats coming out. So then in those situations where you have an alfalfa field, it's got a poor stand and you want it to be thicker and you want that to be your alfalfa field, you don't want to turn it into something else. A lot of times you got to kill that off, disc it up and then wait a year. And it's better if you wait two so all that chemical that the alfalfa plants are creating goes away and then you can get a good stand of your next crop of alfalfa. This is a 70 acre field about and I'm pretty sure there's about 10 acres of this so it's just that's a good chunk that's like 15% of a field is worthless almost. It's nice having to drill getting some alfalfa seed in. That's a big one. corner and then that other one that's a pretty decent size drowned out and we'll go help finish with the last day of soybean harvest oops dang it it's cold I was getting comfortable in the cab. We're getting pretty close to done, so we just have half this drowned out left, small spot over there. I feel like our rate's been pretty good. That ought to do her. Yep, pretty much. You are tall. You are a tall doggy. about a 70 acre field looks like we have about 30 acres left not much dad didn't think we had enough fuel though so brought 50 gallons sometimes I forget how freaking large this combine and header are I didn't see the camera there you'll have to Delete me standing there taking a leak, swinging around like a fire hose. I got no peace and quiet anymore. There's cold shoe. Here's the shoelace. We got about 25 acres of beans left. It's clouding up in the west. They're talking 70% chance of rain, I think. Four in the afternoon. We've probably got two hours left here. Something like that. I think we'll unless a little sprinkle comes through and shuts us down we should be able to get our beans done today we'll put some grass seed and alfalfa in the last two mornings while i was getting the combine ready to go and getting the loads jeff and i to taking them to town he's been keeping up real good at the elevator getting in and out in pretty good shape uh i'd say about half the guys haven't started beans yet some of them had some down corn they had to get done first some of them just the beans weren't quite ready yet so we can start hauling corn home now so we don't have to sit in line at the elevator so that'll be good
Oh. So if I raise it too high, it's gonna lock on there. Well, if you stop, I can grab it quick. that video when we were hauling manure out here and the pin came out and basically the manure spreader fell off the back of the tractor. We spread all that manure starting from that gate going that way about halfway across the field all the way down. It'll be interesting to see at the yield map after we take that data off the combine and see if we can see a nice line or a good area that was better yielding because of that manure. I know last year in a cornfield we saw it black and white, it was awesome. Five, ten bushel better from the manure. One thing that stinks, we don't have enough manure to spread it on all of our fields, but if we did have that much manure, we would be spreading manure like 50 days out of the year. That'd be, that'd be a lot of crap. Gonna finish filling this truck and there are not many beans left. Probably seven, seven or eight acres. So I'm guessing that next semi is just going to be half full, so we'll be taking a half load to town. What are you going to do? Dump it on the ground? Holy cow, that was the fastest we've ever gotten our soybeans done. The last pass of beans. Great field to end on. Some serious beanage out here. trench in there. And there it is. bushel do you think land could have saved us with these brush kits man i tell you just everything on it this is awesome that's really awesome i absolutely love that toolbox yeah the land code everything's toolbox. right there yeah and it does not block your vision whatsoever that was the thing i was concerned about is am i gonna not like that because i can't see that toolbox is in a great spot. I like everything that they did. Yeah. Those crop dividers are shorter. The yellow ones? Closer to the fence. They did. They've, they've got some high quality products. I'm pretty happy with everything they did and I appreciate what they did for us. They gave us a chance to look at it so we're giving them a shout out to everything they have. It's high quality stuff. The other day in that one field when you left a strip by the trees, did you go back and get that? No, you did. Okay. I checked, and I asked Jeff if he'd done it too. Oh, yeah. I double checked, I triple checked, uh -huh. and I also... I was trying to get you. No, he ain't gonna get me. for that rain. There's a storm of brewing.
I thought there was a bunch of thunder rolling through, but it was Jeff in his trailer. It's starting to get a little spooky out here. Watch this fill up. Got me uh, hankering for some Mountain Dew Code Red. That stuff is delicious. Switching back to corn, we got this other brush also from Lancota that fits up in here and just kind of keeps corn kernels from popping back out. Strippage. Got the vaccines at Storla Station. Well, it's almost six o'clock and it hasn't started raining yet, so that's kind of disappointing. Ellie's pretty stoked though, because she hates storms. Aren't you lucky? Soybeans are done. We're gonna start on corn in the next couple days. I think I think most of it's ready. So, I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. I feel like one of these days I'm gonna start looking like this punch here from you beating on me all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a rough life. What you don't see behind the camera. Yep. Yep, he edits all that out. <clears throat>